Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay, coming at you live from the Villain's Lair. Uh, Well, not live, this is a pre-recording, but hey, if you were here on Twitch, uh, watching me live, you'd be able to be there live, you'd be able to chat with me. So why aren't you? Twitch.tv slash that J. We're there almost every night making these videos and making decks and having a good time. And we learn that the real mythic rank is the friends we make along the way. Isn't that right? Anyways, tonight we have a very special treat for you. I'm running an is it deck. I got frustrated, man. I just want to burn and learn. That's what I call is it learn and burn because it's card draws and flaming out. So I call them learn and burns. Um, way back when we didn't have names for these double ki- uh, color uh, combinations. We just had them. So we had Christmas, denial, learn and burn, whatever. So this is my learn and burn here, man. It's all burns and counter spells. And the more instants and stuff we play, the better it gets. It's a bit of a unique deck, but um. I think it'll get the job done. Not too expensive either. Uh, As a matter of fact, it is almost completely artisan, except for the lands. So let's take a look. Uh, Before we do, you could do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. And of course, tenderly caress that subscribe button. And you'll be saving yourself a world of hurt because the like and subscribe will not be after you. He will not pursue you in the dead of night holding his subscribe button. You already know about our Twitch, but did you know about our Discord? Any questions, comments, or concerns can be met there. And as always, all those links will be in the description. So, what are we doing with this learn and burn right now? Prowess. I call it prowess, but it doesn't actually have any prowess cards. It's mostly just kind of based on the idea of prowess. Prowess goes away. I prefer the things to stay. So, the prowess mechanic isn't actually in it. But the idea is, so just to kind of differentiate, these are the prowess cards. Whenever you cast a spell, it gets 1-1 to the end of turn. We don't want it to the end. We don't want it to the end of turn. We want it forever. So we got shock. Do I need to tell you what shock is? If you're brand new at the game, you should still know what shock is. Two damage to any target. Boom. Basic. Spikefield Hazard. A little bit of an extra mana. A little bit of extra damage. All right, one damage can ping a Lotus Cobra from 50 yards. Hey, and that's worth it. Essence Scanner, counter target creature spell. Jawari Disruption, counter target spell unless its controller pays one. This is great for those big boys, all right? When you're getting those big boys. What do I mean by those big boys? I mean that when they're tapping out their mana completely, hit them with the Jawari Disruption. Keep safe. If they're targeting your creatures, stop them, and you draw the card. Negate, counter target non-creature spell. I like these more than just cancel because they're a little cheaper and a little lighter on the blue mana, and if you have kind of a variety, I think I've done three and three here, so we do have the ability to switch around. So here's the fun one too. Uh, Riddle Form, which is a very useful card because it turns into a 3-3 creature with flying in addition to other types until the end of turn, and it lets you scry. So what you're going to want to do is hit somebody with a spike field hazard, shock, or something like that. Bring out your riddle form and attack. Um, You can also surprise people by casting uh, a non-creature spell on their turn as they attack you and catch them sleeping as you block them. Stinging Lionfish. We have two of these guys. They're okay. When you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, you may tap or untap non-target, non-land permanent. So what you can do is you can activate one of your blockers, or you can, at the beginning of their turn, hit them with lightning bolt or shock or something like that, and tap their big guy. So there's a few little tricks you can do with Lionfish. He's, he's, a, little bit, um, he's a little bit tricky, so I'll teach you some tricks with him. Cinderclasm. That's about as big as we get to a board wipe. Um, that's about as big as we get to a door, board wipe right now. Uh, so, hey, look, 
look who's here. Um, Cinderclasm is the big board wipe. Two damage or one damage, depending on whether or not we kick it. Um, we'll see. Uh, so this will get rid of those scoots. This will get rid of a lot of stuff. It's If you want um, Thundering Shock, what's the name of that one? Thunderous Blast. Anyways, there's one that clears the whole board with four damage. Okay. Um, we can definitely do that one, but I like this one because it's a little cheaper and it's kickable. Fire Prophecy, a little bit of card draw here. That's the learn and the burn, right? That's the learn and the burn. Three damage, excellent, target creature, and then you can throw away something you don't need. Scorching Dragonfire. Deals three damage to target creature, Planeswalker. If that creature, Planeswalker, would die this turn, exile it. Uh, we want to hit this last. Even if we're killing something big, we hit it with shock, and then we hit it with this because we don't want them rezzing anything. We don't want anything coming back. We want them completely, completely gone. Okay? So, um, that is a good one to just get exiled people out of there. Sprite Dragon. He's a good guy. He is. Look at that little guy. Look at how cute he is with his little, little fairy wings and his little snaky body. I bet he makes little sounds like this. I bet he goes... Anyways, um, that was my impression of Sprite Dragon. Yeah, that's better. That's probably what he sounds like. So, 1-1 uh, counter every time you cast a non-creature spell. We have a lot of non-creature spells. He has flying. He has haste. He will get out of control quick if people don't deal with him. Um, and every time we cast one of these other spells that we have here, we're really going to stack it on. Okay? Flame Spill. I love this one, especially on a one-power creature. You dump um, a bunch of fire over onto somebody else, uh, and their um, the opponent takes the excess. Soul Seer, very good one, man. Look at that. That Minotaur is um, that that dude right there is going through something. Uh, he just never expected he just never expected his soul to be burned out by a giant flaming hand Minotaur. I mean, who does? I mean. Well, I, I mean, I have for a long time because a gypsy woman told me that that's what, how I was going to die, but either way. Uh, Soul Seer. Again, creature or planeswalker, and that permanent loses indestructible. And um, if we want to really close it off, if we want to kill something big, uh, we can close it off with a big uh, head full of Scorching Dragon Fire to exile it. Spellgorger Weird. Here's another one of those prowess, except it's permanent. Uh, he is weird, and he is a spell gorger. He eats spells, and he's weird. That's about all I can say of him. 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one counter every time he casts a non-creature spell. We have a lot of non-creature spells. As you can see, this is very heavy on spells and not heavy on creatures. Um, so, eight islands. Uh, nine mountains. Two river glide pathways, Temple of Epiphany. So here's the interesting thing about this deck. All right. Here is the very interesting thing about this deck. This is all uncommons and commons, guys. Um, except for River Glide and Temple of Epiphany. If you just want to use basic mana, or if you just want to use um, the, paint, uh, the, the bonus lands, like I think it's called Swiftwater Cliffs, which is the, um, the one that gains you life. Let's take a look. Yeah, Swiftwater Cliffs. If you just want to use that, it'll be completely an artisan. Okay? And it's very fast, it's very aggressive, and it's very cheap. Um, so, yeah. Definitely. Castle's Fury, eh, we don't need that. So, Prowess. A little bit heavier on the red. Okay? 2.1 average, very quick. Look at those spells compared to non-creatures. Only 10 creatures in the deck. Mostly instants, mostly enchantments, 20 lands, but remember we have two from Jawari Disruption and two from Spikefield Hazard. We don't need a lot of mana for this run right here. It's pretty cheap, okay? So that's what we're looking at. That's what we're running. Um, and we're going to get started here in just a second. Take a look at it in our alternate view, which everybody likes. I've had people ask me about this. Really running at two. Two mana is all we need. There's only eight cards that are three. So this is a fast, burny, smashy, blasty. Okay? All right. All right, guys. So we're going to do something a little different, which is play this in just regular, unranked um, matches. 
Uh, the reason is, is this is an artisan deck, so it's not as powerful maybe that it can take on the diamond tier stuff. Um, but I did want to showcase it because I am getting a lot of new guys. We're finding a lot of new guys, and I wanted to show how to put together a pretty cheap and effective deck using the tools at your disposal and also artisan meaning that it's uncommon only so we're going to try this in an unranked matches uh, because we're probably going to get stomped pretty bad in diamond where i am right now so i can't go backwards so we can play this so let's let's give it a look in this and mcbash is leaving for the night unfortunately sir mcbash Always glad to have him around. He's a big part of the community. All right. All right, pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. So, as an intro deck, the main thing you're going to want to do with this is throw out as many spells as you want. So, you're going to want to move fast, and you're going to want to try to counter and burn everything that comes after you. Aggression is the name of the game with this deck. Um, if you're new to is it, if you're new to magic, is it is this is basically just counter spells and burn, which is the main two things that um, red and blue do. So we're combining their two main focuses, what they do the best, and we're putting them out there. So that's the idea. Might get counter spell. Might have an essence scatter here. He's going to eliminate. That's fine. That's what we call pulling teeth, guys. He's only got so many eliminates in the deck. He's only got so many times he can play that. He's only got so much mana. Best advice I can tell you is that you're going to lose creatures sometimes. Um, this might be a complete removal deck. I don't know. It looks like it's a Demir blue-black. So we'll see. Maj with a question. He says his decks are feeling bland after building them the same way. Go nuts with it, that man. Put a crazy put a crazy restriction down on one of your decks and just go crazy nuts with it. What I mean is try to make it all under three. Try to make it three or less, three lesser mana. Try to make it two or less mana. Um, do a color combination you're not used to. Keep safe. Do something dynamic. That's the best advice that I can give you if you feel like you're stuck in a rut with deck making. Uh, is do something real dynamic to really, really change it up. Put a restriction on yourself. Do something that you just wouldn't normally do. Will it work? I don't know. But it'll stretch your mind a little bit and it'll stretch your deck uh, and it'll stretch your ability. So don't worry about that. I'm giving out free advice tonight. Okay, so we're push, pushing aggro. Every every time that we... Um, if he tries to kill me, I've got a counter spell here. Uh, so we are pushing some aggression here. Archipelagor. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. Let's see if we can do it, guys. Let's see if we can pull it off. If 
if he's got more mutates, he's going to win. Because uh, he can mutate. He can stop three guys. Hey, Maj, I appreciate you, man. McChewy, you're now subscribed to me. Welcome, man. Welcome to the family. Um, chasing, uh, chasing Demi and those tif gifted subs right there. Welcome, bro. You can use the custom emojis. And the humble shock finishes off our opponent. So, hey, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. I, I, I really do appreciate that, Maj. I'm glad you think so. Um, I needed the ego boost right now. I do play this IRL. I was going to go over one day. I was going to go over my... Um, I, I do play Paper Magic. That's how I started. I started playing Paper Magic probably in 1995, the end of 1995, and really got into it in 1996, so probably about 25 years. Um, I just started Arena probably when it was in beta. So why don't we open our vault? Huh? Why don't we open that little vault right there? Yay, look at those cards. Yay, we did it. Vault. Okay, so let's go again, guys. Let's go again in Unranked um, just to show off what we can do with this deck. Um, if you're a new guy, if you're stuck in gold, if you're stuck in silver, if you're stuck in platinum, um, this deck will get you out. This is, And it's also very cheap. Like I said, it's all uncommon. Uh, so it's definitely cheap enough that it can, um, if you're, if you don't have the wilds, cause that's what I see a lot. I've seen a lot in my comments. Hey man, I love the deck. I don't have the wilds. I wish I could play it. Hey man, love the deck. Don't have the wilds. Can't play it. Um, I wanted to do something about that because I do really appreciate the guys watching, even though that they can't play the decks that I'm showing off. So I kind of wanted to show off something that almost everybody would have access to and still works. So... That's why we're kind of showing off this one tonight. Vault, you've got to buy packs to get Vault, man. Uh, the more, the more double, the more duplicate cards you get, the more your Vault goes up. So I buy a lot of cards. So it, uh, well, I open a lot of packs, and I've been doing it for a while. Uh, it goes up. So we're going to do Classic Flame Spill here. He's going to take three damage. He's going to turn into a flying guy. Pop. And he's down to 14 already. Look at that. Um, all right. Perfect. And then we're probably going to play Stinging Lionfish and then Fire Prophecy and hit him again. Really pushing aggro on him right now. Really, really, really pushing aggro. If you already have a bunch, so every time that you open up a pack and you're already maxed out on that number of cards that you have, you get a certain percentage added to your total amount in your vault. So basically... Uh, the more packs you open, the more your vault goes up because it adds like 0.1% for every um, 
for every common and 0.5% for every uncommon. I don't know the exact numbers, but, and then like 1% for, no, probably not that much even, uh, for ones that are, um, rare or mythic rare or something like that, so. So the more cards you buy, it's basically rewarding you eventually uh, slowly building towards. If you get this deck tracker, if you get the MTGA assistant, it'll tell you at the end of each session uh, how much you have in your vault already. So if you're just on your grind and you keep grinding, um, you should be able to open your vault eventually. Sorry about that, guys. We're having real bad network issues tonight. Uh, we got cut away right in the middle of me doing that, but we're back. We made it back. Sorry to the chat. I am back. Don't worry. Don't panic. We're here. Just everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Action, turn him into the thing, and then we're gonna hit him with a pop, pop, pop. hit him with the three piece. Hit him with the three piece, guys. Okay, we're at it now. We're doing it. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. We're doing all right. Doing all right tonight. Feeling better, feeling better. Getting the batteries charged up again. Ooh, the diamond grind right now, man, is so sweaty. I just, it takes it out of me. Counterspell it. I don't know why keep safe doesn't work on that. It's a very interesting um, thing because you cast it, it's an enchantment, it goes down, 
and then it targets something once it's down, so it's not a spell that targets. It's very weird. Uh, it is a very strange, very, very strange situation we find ourselves in. I don't really agree with that, because I feel like if it is targeting, it's targeting. Um, I don't think that there should be that much of a difference uh, whether or not it goes down and then targets. If a spell targets you, it targets you. Hey, I'm just some asshole, what do I know? really didn't want to lose that wall. Okay. I mean, good for you, man. I love keep safe. Yeah, keep spending your money on killing me, man. Keep spending your money on sending these cars my way. Uh, that's what you do, man. Keep on spending that money to try to stop me. You're going to run out of stuff sooner or later. You are going to run out of stuff sooner or later. How many how many creatures you got? Two creatures already. I got plenty more. Flame spill. No. Well, I'm stocked with spells right now, but he does not seem to want to do anything. KNL. Double pip. Okay, what do you got for me? Uh, yeah, Sprite Dragon, I'll take. Alright. We'll be able to we'll be able to pump Sprite Dragon up real a lot right now. Pass. Real a lot. Let's listen to my man. Uh Let's see what he's got. So now he's got Giant Killer out. I'm going to Flame Spill it. You know, Vitality. Okay. And Hollowed Priest. Wow. Alright, that's going to be a lot of killing to do. That's going to be a lot of killing to do, folks. Plenty of cover for him right now. Cancel that. You don't need to cast that spell. You don't need to, you don't need to banish me again, bro. That's that's something you don't need to be doing. I, I thought about it a lot. I've thought about it more than you have. There's Fairy Godmother. Alright, so let's um Riddle form. Let's just burn her soul away. Yeah. And that's that, folks. I think that's uh, five in a row. I don't know. I missed one game because I wasn't recording. But we'll keep going just for the hell of it. We can probably make a six-win run. So let's do it. Let us do it. We'll do this one, and then we'll do one in rank to see if we can't make it in diamond. How's everybody doing out there? Y'all quiet tonight, man. Y'all quiet. Quiet. Y'all quiet tonight. Not talking. Oh, uh. 
I'm, uh, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Alright. Just checking. Yeah, man. Get that. Get, get your grind on, bro. Get your grind on. Kiyama, what are you doing? Is this the same deck I played? Is this the same person I just played? There's pacifism. Okay. Alright. Hey, man, go for it, man. Get your grind down. Knight's Pledge. Okay. It's still a wall, homie. Doesn't really matter, but okay, good for you, man. If you're happy, I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. That's all I gotta say. Uh, if you're happy with the choices you've made, um, I guess I gotta be happy with them too. Because, uh, that's all we got. <clears throat> Ooh, Brash Taunt will do it. Brash Taunter will do it. Let's get rid of her before she becomes a problem. Uh, yeah, she's, she's an angel. She's an angel until she ain't. That's how they get you. Yeah, it's got big buttresses. It's got big buttresses. Oh, he's gonna banish again. Okay. What are you gonna banish? My lionfish? some creatures out. Oh, so he got uh, Banishing Light out. It's another River Glide pathway. Do, 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 do. Three and three. I guess I'll go red. Um, and then we're going to end it there. We just got to try to outdraw each other right now. Um, Just drawing spells, it's a one drop backside of this is you can draw spells and mana like crazy here. Uh, and it will become an issue. There's not that many creatures in it, so until you start getting your creatures out to do that work, um, it can be a little slow, but you do have a lot of control over the game. Um, those little 1-1 one -one creatures aren't going aren't gonna to really touch me, though. Cancel him. All right, let's see what he's got. Probably gonna try to hit me with Banishing Light. But uh, I was gonna hit Angel of Vitality there. Okay. Then Banishing Light? We'll see. We'll see.
And of course, keep safe does not work on Banishing Light for some reason. But you know it does work in Soul Searing his Angel. Just because I'm so mad right now. Sprite Dragon. Okay, finally got another one of those out. We do have a Keep Safe out. Hopefully he doesn't have another freaking Banishing Light, which apparently no counter spells work, because even though it targets you, that doesn't work. So, yeah, he's got that Banishing Oh, this is McBash levels here. This is absolute McBash levels. Four Banishing Lights out. He's kicking me to death with these little, these little village girls in their sensible flats. All right. So, I mean that, Jawara Disruption. So he's gotten rid of one, two, three, uh, four of my creatures. There's Negate. It's no help right now. No help at all right now. He's just going to keep making one, one creatures and picking me to death. We can't even draw the one that'll kill all of our... Okay, finally... Finally, we can get Spellgorger Spell Weird out. And we do have enough to block. I don't even think we have enough to block him, so... I think we're dead either way. dead either way guys because we could not draw a creature and he got four banishing three banishing lights in a row and a pacifism so just a white denial there uh, that did end our streak so we're gonna finish it off um, that did end a pretty good streak of is it right here but we're gonna finish it off with going into rank and see how she flies how's that sound and I want to ruin my mood again I was feeling really good I want to feel real bad now. I want to really twist that knife in me. Sometimes you just want to feel that sweet pain. Am I right? Hello, HR Grindle, how you doing? Let's get out our Sprite Dragon. That's the sound he probably makes. So this is probably a landfall mono green, I want to say.
Yeah. As soon as I get into Diamond, the Auto Shuffler's like, nah, fam, you can't play this deck in here, man. You're good. Seven mana right out the gate. How about that? How about that, folks? Normally got a handful of counters and burns. Seven mana right out the gate. Breaking it out right away. Yep. I swear to God, as soon as I touch Diamond, man, Auto Shuffler is like, nah, fam. You do not need to be doing what you're doing right now. That's what it tells me, man. Every time. 25% chance of a land, it might as well be, say, 100 right there. Man, I knew I would get salty, too. I did it to myself. I, I thought I could trust Diamond. It just turned around and betrayed me. to my damn self. Trying to give me another land on top of that. Wow. Shit is crazy, man. I guess just to punish myself, just to feel that sweet pain. All right, well, Diamond didn't work out, um, but hey, the deck works really good. The deck works really good in not anything but Diamond. Um, The deck works really well in anything but diamond. Ah, that's all I can say. Uh, it is a good early deck. It is a good beginner deck for guys trying it out. Um, you know, uh, it is a good trial deck. It's very cheap. You can get it uh, on. You can get it very very cheaply. Um, it's a good starter. It'll get you there. It'll get you to what you need to do if you want to crawl out of bronze, silver, gold, something like that. It'll certainly see your way up the ladder. Won't work in diamond, though. That's for damn sure. Uh, but either way, that's going to be it for me tonight. We're going to leave the video there. i got to get this one in the hopper. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.